All right, so finally we are on to a spot here. Uh, apparently this house is uh, around 1870. Uh, really nice guy. The, the owner uh, came and gave us a little history of the area. As you can see there, there's a, an old road. Apparently it was used by uh, Union Civil War soldiers uh, to get down to uh, one of the older locations that we're trying to get permission, the uh, 1820s house, uh, the Williams house. So, yeah, he gave us a little history uh, that this barn here apparently was like in the middle here and they had moved it uh, pre-1920s. Um, and then uh, that area there used to be an old nursery. And down over here was an old uh, all-black uh, church that uh, was removed. So we may uh, end up down there doing a little detecting, but um, so who knows what we're going to dig up here, but uh, he was gracious enough to give us permission, so we'll, uh, we'll see what we can find. Alright, so my first target uh, rang up about like a nickel. I was only in about uh, two inches, three inches there. It's a um, head stamp, so it's right here on this little uh, pathway, this old abandoned uh, road. So we'll keep going. John up there, looks like he had something uh, he was filming. Get anything? Did you find anything? Did you find anything? Awesome. All right, so I was digging a bunch of memorials and a bunch of copper pipe in here. It rings up really good. Uh, and this one actually ringing at about a 946, uh, like 1247, and uh, that's on high trash. So um, looks like a Washington. And you all are in for a surprise as far as the one that I got on the strip last night, so uh, stay tuned. Let's see if I can get a date on this guy right here. Looks like maybe 1948. D. All right, we'll get back to you. We're not finding too much. It's got a high signal here at about uh, three or four inches, and uh, looks like it's a 1992 Canadian coin. Get that cleaned up. Ran up this uh, random road here and um, we had to actually pull over. It was so narrow that we uh, couldn't hardly get through with another car passing and then as we're driving we noticed that there's a cemetery here on this side and tombstones on that side. So it looks like they cut the uh, road right through the middle of the cemetery and then right up the way here if you look in these trees there's a bunch of garbage and you can see them, but there's just random tombstones scattered in through there. Like they dosed the cemetery just to put the road in. Yeah, there's one. There's just a lot of trash back in there, and it's pretty wild. There's a nice big tombstone right there. Jeez, that's crazy. So 1860s, and there was a big family that lived uh, here, uh, there, and there used to be a mill across the way. Over here, uh, we can see there's a part of a structure standing there. Apparently, there's another foundation over here from the 1840s. So, um, he actually, the owner came out and was speaking to me a little bit and he said, Yeah, he's got a detector, so I'm going to give him some batteries and we're going to be able to detect a little bit. All right, well, there's the uh, owner's son and got the owner to get out his detector. It's back in there somewhere and uh, Gave them a nine volt. They're going at it. There's actually an old set of stairs right there. It's hard to see. Uh, but he said this area was actually older than his house. It was built in the 1840s. So, let's see if we can dig up anything right. back. Not much came out of that older house. It had been hunted before. It was a lot of trash, but really cool place. Uh, John actually picked up an Indian head and wheat scent and a couple other cool pieces. And uh, hit a place on the way home, an abandonment, um, city property, uh, condemned area. And a little silver there. It's a Merc. Yep. We'll get it cleaned up. Talk to y'all later. All right, pulled out this target. It sounded like a silver, but um. It's really deep, and it looks like it's got some fish on it. It says Pisces. 
and uh, I can't really tell what's on the back. So we'll get that thing cleaned up and take a look at it. All right, everyone, we're uh, back at it. I uh, supposed to be doing a little work. I got a little done, but um, had the itch, silver itch, to go uh, do a little hunting. So I've been hitting these uh, little strips here for about uh, 20 minutes, just been finding some clad, and then uh, a guy pulls up to me and he's like, what you finding? And uh, I was like, well, some clad and, and stuff, nothing really too old. He's like, oh, I've worked these strips, you know, back in the 70s and with my white's detector, and uh, you're not going to find anything. We stripped them from the gold, and, you know, when those, uh, when those pennies used to be the size of a quarter, we got all those out of here. Um, and he told me to actually go hit this house over here. It was an old friend of his, uh, but he actually sold it to somebody else that's remodeling it, so I didn't feel comfortable doing that. But anyway, he uh, left, and then I kept working strips down through here, never found anything. He comes driving back by, and he's like, uh, well, I got this vacant property that I hit, you know, years ago. You can go ahead and give it a shot, 231, right up the street here. So, uh, heck, we'll give it a try. We'll see if we can pull out anything that his whites might have missed. Get back just right down the street uh, here at this address in a um, pretty steep yard, but uh, he said I could go ahead and hunt the, the front and the back, so we'll get going. Well, everybody, this guy definitely knew what he was doing, so uh, I didn't find anything of uh, significant value. <laughs> Hardly any coins. I think I may have got one wheat cent, so... With that old white he's got, whites, he can definitely clean it up, so kudos to you. Well, another day, a spring break, and I um, end up getting a permission here at this uh, about 100-year-old house. I'm by myself today, so uh, it's getting a little colder, but I got some, uh, got, got some work done today, so hopefully we'll find something cool. All right, so, so far I got a memorial. It's about four inches deep. I believe it was in 1962. And then uh, just moved over here, and I picked up one of these. Uh, I think they're from the uh, nursery. They kind of indicate what kind of plant that it is. Uh, so that's my first. So, all right, I think we're off to a good start. All right, so this is what it takes to find something in this yard. Um, I'm working right up close to this side of this house here with this uh, joy coil. And finally got something interesting. Um, with a thimble. I've never had one of these before, so I'll have to say that this is a first. I don't think it's silver. Um, I bring up like a, a pull tab, but um, anyway, we'll, we'll take it and we'll get it cleaned up. Okay, another interesting find. Um, I'm working here next to the sidewalk and uh, I'm running. Um, <laughs> There's coin, pretty much wide open just to pick up anything. And uh, got this about a 1220. It's definitely something I'm not used to seeing, so. Not exactly sure. What that is. Looks pretty neat though. Looks like it has a wand on the back. Monona? Yeah, it's just a token, so. Anyway, we'll get okay, back. now we're starting to get some interesting finds. Um, Found that coin back over there. Still working right along the sidewalk here, and uh, pull up this interesting find here. Looks like some sort of uh, metal. It's got a little thing on the top here. Interesting. Um, get that. It looks like it rang up at about a 12:43, uh, so good signal. Still working along the sidewalk, and digging's getting a little better. Uh, actually, a piece of foil in here, but um, picked up a marble in the hole. So that's pretty neat. Like an older one too. All right, we 
get back to you. It's pretty hard to believe. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I actually found one of these. And it's a, a military issue uh, padlock, so uh, that's pretty cool. This one's actually locked. The other one was open, so awesome. All right, everybody. I'm going to do a quick wrap-up here. I got kicked out of the kitchen, so uh, I am uh, left to show my wrap-up on the toilet. That's how I rate. Anyway, I uh, figure I better get a video up here since uh, Nikki's has taken off. And my last video was uh, about trash. So, uh, actually, I've been finding a few good things, and uh, these hunts were uh, definitely ones I'll remember. Um, you start at the top here. I got my very first marble that is glass out of the hole. So, my. Uh, I think I showed a video a while back. I pulled out a ceramic marble, so this is actually my first old glass marble. All right, and believe it or not, I pulled out another military issue padlock. I think this is around the uh, early 1900s. I know this because I found this one a while back. If y'all remember, this one was open. Pretty unbelievable. I actually used to collect locks when I was a kid, so being able to find two of these, I thought I'd never be able to find one again. It's very, very strange. So, uh, but I am uh, extremely happy about that find. Uh, moving on down, same yard I found that. I found this medallion. Not sure how old it is. Uh, ring up very high. Thought it might have been a massive gold coin, but um, this came out instead. It's got a nice shine to it. Also out of that yard, I pulled out this uh, neat little token. Very small. And it says Turkey Gap on it. I think it says Turkey Gap Coal Company. Winona. And one in trade. I have to look that one up. Next on the list here, we got a Canadian leaf scent. I think it's from, uh, it's a newer one, 92. Don't really find too many of those, so I thought I'd show it. Uh, and yes, I did find some silver, believe it or not. Rick can still find silver. Uh, pulled out a uh, 45 Merc. No mint mark. And a Washington Quarter. Very happy with this. Find 1948D. The only silver pulled out of that yard. I think the house is from the early 1900s. Uh, there was a lot of um, work done on the yard though, so very uh, psyched about this one. So. Anyway, we'll go ahead and wrap it up there, and uh, thanks for watching, and hope you all are getting out and finding some cool stuff. I really appreciate watching all the other videos, so I hope you enjoy mine. Thanks, and happy hunting.